Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. <clears throat> but now we're in the front of the house. Jonathan's um, humble abode upstate in Jewett, New York. Ironically, that's uh, the first town Mia thought of when she decided to buy a house upstate was Jewett. It just sounded good. Um, so now we're in the front. The kids are all in the back. And we're here to figure out if Jonathan is his father's son or not. That's what we're looking to do. So here we are, we're on his deck. Okay, upstate New York, keep in mind. Jew in New York, remember? All right, that's from my grandmother's house that I think Jonathan made many years ago. That's nice. A little stuff hanging on the door. Wood pile, nice and organized. Fairly clean looking deck. So, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Jonathan is not his father's son. Maybe we're all wrong about that. You know, and I hate being wrong, but what? But wait. What is that? Oh, a fire pit, unused. Mm, got potential. I mean, there's one in the back that's on right now, but I guess it's important to have one in the front maybe to scare away the animals. So, but so far, it doesn't make him his father's son. All right, there's some nice foliage, all of our cars, the whole family's here, nice swing set, and nice railing. Railing, funny you should mention railing, Tony. Whoa, why thank you. Someone must have stolen the front railing off of Jonathan's porch because it's not there. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But not enough to bust his chops. Maybe the flag we can torture him about how he's got his flag rigged up here, but eh, not good enough. But aha, we found something. Still got the ice melt out. Still have the safety pet, safety pet ice melt. Which, you know, he probably paid 50 bucks for. That's still out. Okay. He's got his shovels going here. Sleds. Half under the deck. Half outside the deck. On top of, it looks like, anchor line. Oh, yeah. There, that's it. It's almost official. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. He's truly a Greco. And then we have some, oh, some chicken wire. Just randomly, randomly tossed around under a nice evergreen tree. Well, chicken wire. Well, now, why would he have chicken wire under here, you ask yourself? We don't know why. The same reason he's got a half-open bag of brown mulch. Hmm. I don't know, Jonathan. You're failing our test. Failing our test. A little drainage. A little drainage action looks good. But, oh, it would look good if the drain pipe was connected. Oh, boy. Oh boy, draining that water away from the old woodshed, which looks pretty top tick. See, this is good. He's redeeming himself with the woodshed. He's got the carrier, the wood is dry. He's got everything he needs in there. This is a beautiful thing. Something I would actually aspire to, to do. All right. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, red flag, red flag, red flag. Half crushed garbage can, brown, probably stolen off the dolphin, randomly tossed in the middle of the woods. Oh, yeah, folks. He's got that going on. Oh, boy. And he's got oh, more drain pipe. More. Oh, drain pipe. And he's got a five-gallon Home Depot pail. Because we need that to mark the property line. So if he comes home half in the bag, he doesn't drive into the stone wall, which separates his property from the neighbors. And no Greco property would ever be complete without some type of piece of shit plywood laying around. For, I'm guessing, ah, a couple years. Right? Yeah, that's what makes the Greco property complete. And I have no idea what that is. What the hell? Some type of planner? What does Uncle Jonathan have going on here? 
Oh, it looks like it's supposed to maybe hold that pail. I don't know, folks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Look at this beautiful shot here. The shot would be much more beautiful if there wasn't an upside down plastic chair. That. No one seems to know how it got there. Here's my guess. There's the deck. There's the deck. Okay. Mia probably put the chair in like the wrong spot. He came home shit faced, was pissed off. Took the brown chair because you know if you notice there's other brown chairs on the deck and he launched it. <whistles> Boom. Right there. You know. That's what happened. Okay. Alright, well, as long as we got that cleared up. Um it's July, but if anybody would like to go sledding, we have one rocked and ready to go for you. Comes with leaves and water and everything, and then you can go sledding all the way down around the chair okay after you go around this chair you're gonna make a sharp right turn sharp right turn sharp right turn keep in mind the purpose of this video is to see if Jonathan is his father's son and this will be the final determining factor ladies and gentlemen what's under the deck what's under the deck says a lot about a man and he's got bingo, winner, winner, kitchen dinner. Chicken dinner, duh. And I'm the one making fun of him. We got broken oars, white pipes randomly spewing everywhere. Some type of kid, maybe sled or something. Garbage pails, four by fours, wires, plants. Oh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This proves it. Jonathan Greco is his father's son. Thanks for listening. And this is Tony Greco signing out. Take care. Comb your hair. And always change your underwear.